Come back over here tonight again. Knock some more hay down. At least some of you guys are thinking, wow, it's just taking a long time. But this farm always takes it twice as long because it's got, it's all strips and contours and side hills. And, uh, it just takes a hell of a lot. I mean, I can, you've seen me cut that 40 acres down and got it all, all buttoned up in three days. And I can come over here and it's going to take me five days to do 20 acres over here because it just, that's just the way it is. It's just so much more messing around when you have these smallish strips and you're, it's, it, it is what it is. It just, you got the hills, takes you longer, you got, it, it, I know it, it's, it's, it's a uh, hard farm to farm, so. Brought the uh, 8640 manure tank over here and spread it a load quick. <coughs> so I'm gonna go haul some manure, cut some manure, or cut some manure, yeah. Can't talk. <laughs> Cut some hay, hauled some shit already, did that, so. We'll go down on the mountain in the dark. That's always a joyous ride. Knock that down. Ain't much do yet here tonight, but we'll forecast the rain. I always like cutting when there's a dew on. It makes the moisture stay in the hay longer, so. It's in the 90s a day again here in high humidity. And did my bailing video here today, so. You guys, bunch you guys like that. That's great. Always like bailing, so. But uh, I better get at her. Been rambling here long enough. Gonna go have some more fun. I don't know why it does not come out very good. Some nights it's good, and some nights it's not. Well. Fuzzy it is. <laughs> I just got the mountain cut down. Um, actually, it's actually pretty good. So it's three quarters way up on the. Uh, uh, shoot. On the drapes on the disc mine. So hope I guys bring you guys back tomorrow when you can see it better. And, yeah, we got this one cut down. On to the next one. seeding fields more rocks and there is hay but it's there but it's too damn dry I cut around around the outside and figured I'm just gonna leave it ain't nothing here to get fairly ankle high and be it for this field this year, I don't know. I'm gonna rain, I'm gonna stretch out some more and doubt it. But yeah, so this is the last field I had to rake. 
So off the unloading cover boxes. Okay, guys, uh, how's it going today? Um, K600 blower. I replaced a hub a while back. Some of you know that one there. Now I have another one that was been getting bad. I mean, we were, uh, I seen it yesterday. It was <clears throat> looking pretty pretty poor. So that's that's all she wrote. That's uh, that's the end of her. So I gotta get a new hub for that one now. I haven't called around more than likely. I have to order that. I can gotta get it through the, the dealer in town because uh, these blowers are H and S. Everybody uses them, so gonna get the Heston going. I got the U joint put back together. You guys remember that one? I blew the U joint out last fall blowing corn silage. So, we hook that, unhook this, hook that up, she she'll roll, put her back on the silo. So that silo's, I gotta climb up there and see how full it is, so. All right, I gotta keep moving here and get back to chopping here a little bit. All right, we got her on. The wind's at my back. <laughs> I don't remember which way the wind's going when I do this, though. Take that off and fire again. Pretty nice stuff in there. Alright, attempt number two. Now, she's snowing though. Gotta clean that out again. And bring it back. Inside, but some way you can get to it. It ain't too bad, though. Okay, right, well, we're gonna put it back on the saddle pipe and guarantee the first load. We're gonna kind of push it up slow because that uh, side of that blower is pretty, pretty rusty. So can't see it real good, but. There you can see it. But that'll clean up. A couple loads through her and we're good to go. Officially done chopping third crop hay. Definitely uh, <clears throat> wasn't as good tonnage wise. It was a decent crop. It definitely didn't uh, run as good as a guy I like, but it was drier and 
know, it is what it is, so. Take what we get, and that's what we got. Well, we're bringing everything back home. And Uh, gonna work on the chopper now. <coughs> Get that ready for corn, I guess. So. Alright. See you guys later. Chain holst. Look what we got in the cab here. <laughs> that shit happened. Yeah, well, there's Tyler. Yeah, we got the corn head on the chopper. We're about to find out if I welded that piece on right there well enough or not. So. Yep. That little hole is just, well, don't worry about that. That's that's minor. You don't need to worry <laughs> about that shit. We just gotta see if she'll. There we go. Down the scope. That's right. Hopefully, <coughs> nobody's trying to pass. <laughs> well, they're not gonna pass real quick, I can tell you that. I don't care if they are behind me. <sighs> oh, yeah, there was one coming. I don't know. I know. I've seen him in the mirror. Oh, I'm a designated driver, you know. Oh, Keeping yeah. keep an eye on the road. Shane's. Change the DD. <laughs> First corn chop in the 2020. Yeah. Fucking give it to hell now. Here we go. Hang on. Hold on. I gotta switch fucking hands. There we go. Perfect. Fuck. I can still drink. Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Here we go. We're gonna see if everything works alright. Quit beeping at me. I don't like that. Tyler's the inspector. Look at that shit. Let's see if Rick welded good. It's welded. We're about to find out. Well, she's going through, so the whole process is working. Flying out the other side. Your vibration in there, not quite sure what that is. Nice. You gotta get used to the way that processor feels when you're running it. It takes so much more power. Oh yeah. Oh. It takes, I was like, almost 50, 30 to 50 horse to run that processor. Damn. No. Not too bad in here. It's, you know, I wish it was over the cab, but. What's well, better than what we walked in on earlier? Yeah. So this, part, this part just should be a good part. Plenty of fertilizer. Smells good. What do you think, Tyler? Mint. I know I didn't uh, show the putting the corn head on and the processor in, but if you guys want to see that, putting the processor in, I do have an early video of that. It's actually one of my earliest videos, so if so you guys are interested in that, go check that, uh, check that video out. But uh, yeah, so we're just giving her a test run here and making sure everything works and sounds good. And I got to run down to... Oh, down by Lake City and do a custom job for a guy and uh, well, chop some corn for myself too actually. So, some drought corn and some sand ground. So, we're gonna see what that's all about on Monday. We were gonna do it earlier, but rain came and other things came up, so. So that. Street quarter's full and I'm not quite to the end yet. It had a little dab in the back, but. Not much to speak of, so. So that down on the corn is, I gotta run Well, that. she's kinda getting fucking, she's gonna be right there with you, huh? <laughs> we might have to come back and a little bit. Grab, grab a few rows to finish the wagon off. You never go home with a half a load if you can't try, you know. 
Shane says never go home half loaded. You never go, go home. Go the whole yeah, way. You gotta go all the way. Yep. Or don't go Fuck don't it. go home. That's right. <laughs> if you can help it. Oh, oh Rick's falling out. I'm gonna fall out. He's hit the eject button. That's right. <laughs> Bye, Rick. You're fucking out of here. Yeah. Don't touch that button. I didn't know Shane had that shit on the switch, but I get thrown well, out of here. It's all dependent on how you sit in the seat, I guess. <laughs> Well, I bring you guys back a little bit. Just wanted to show you guys a uh, little bit of the beginning of the uh, 2020 corn chopping. So we're not going to be starting at home here yet for a little bit. First, I'm just going to chop that corn down in Lake City. So just give her a test run. So talk to you guys in a little bit. The official guy will come over and give his fucking judgment here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I drank beer, beer with him until 4.30 yesterday morning, so... This morning? This morning? This morning. Yeah, it was a rough fucking day, but... <clears throat> oh, no, she's working good. Go. <clears throat> fucking mint. You guys smell that? Can you? I can. It smells good. <laughs> <clears throat> well, there we go, the first load of 2020. Hopefully many more after we get some stuff filled up. That's for sure. Well, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya.